and copywriters. <laughs> and I apologize for that. <laughs> but I will miss you all and I'm sure that you will miss your lessons in advertising writing. <laughs> you've met this semester. <laughs> I'm trying to get myself together here. The uh, analysis expert who helped you understand situation analysis. The uh, mad professor slash scientist mixing and piecing together press releases. <laughs> or maybe just the snakes of Sound effects. What's that? Or maybe one of your most missed things will be, and I'm sure it will be, creative briefs. Let's see where my briefs might be. No, oh, would these be they? No. Why, that's not a brief, nor is it even creative. No, <laughs> this is my feather boa. But, oh, some briefs and quite creative I must say and your briefs were at times quite creative this semester <laughs> and so who knows what it is that you might miss in all these characters and I will miss you in the future as well but this semester is not quite over yet. Still some very important things to accomplish this semester, as you probably know. You all are in the process of finishing your press releases, and they are officially supposed to be wrapped up the second version with your second source and your um, edited version after having read my feedback. Um, but that's not the only thing left this semester. You still have final projects. And I know you've got projects in pretty much everybody's class. <laughs> I think I've got a feather. Not in my cap. Well, I actually do have feathers in my cap. But for your final projects, very important. These count 300 points because you have three sections in particular plus a creative brief. So they count 300 points towards your grade. You have the creative brief for your final project assignment that I gave you. 
three differing pieces in the campaign that you have decided will best target your target audience and that those decisions for what three pieces you're going to uh, create for that project is based or those uh, pieces are based, sorry, I need to get my verb correct, on research. Research, research, research. You need to have a plethora of research in the client section so that you know your client, you know what makes your client special, you know all the differing flavors, sizes, and styles of the products that your client is um, um, has on the market that you're trying to pitch to your target audience and then research, research, research in your audience section especially. You need to know your audience. What are they like? What, and not just for their age demographic, but perhaps for their income demographic, perhaps also for their location demographic. It depends on the demographics that you were given. For, the, for your particular project assignment. Much research, you will correlate that research on your audience, what appeals to them, what they will spend their money on, what they like, what attracts them, um, and correlate that with the particular things about this particular client and product and um, what in the client's arsenal of um, characteristics of its product will most appeal to that target audience. And that's how you decide what differing media you're going to use and what kind of verbiage you're going to craft for your particular um, ad pieces for your project. So lots of research. I also need to see everything in the proper formats that I have posted under the differing weeks. For instance, when we studied radio spots, I put a radio format. I put a PSA format on D2L. During TV, when we were talking about TV, I put a TV spot format on D2L. There's a format for press releases, etc. I would I need to see, and there's also a print format for a print ad when we were talking about print ads originally. So that's a little ways back. Um, so I expect to see things in the proper formats, but everything, your creative brief and your three pieces all in one Word file or text file so that it's all together in one place as one submission. And you don't have to do any audio files or any video files for that project. Aren't I nice? Um, so I'm also glad to review your projects ahead of time and make suggestions before you submit them if you want me to. But you can send those to me by email if you choose to. I will take late assignments other than your final projects, but I need you to let me know that they are there and they need to be renamed as late or if they are a revision, any revised version that you decide to post needs to be denoted in the file name as revised because otherwise there's such a mishmash of things in the submission drop boxes that it's very difficult for me to determine if something is newer or just an extra version um, or something that actually got submitted to a certain drop box accidentally. So, please rename those files for me as to revision or if it's a late uh, submission. And I, I offer you these opportunities to uh, submit things late if you just didn't get to it, you were overwhelmed that week, you've had, you were ill, something has occurred, um, because I really want you all to learn from doing revisions and also um, I want you to make the best grade possible. It is, it is my goal to help you succeed 
in any way that I possibly can and to encourage you to do so. I know sometimes it probably seems like all I do is give you negative feedback, but I hope that you feel like it is constructive feedback so that the next time you create something similar to one of these pieces or when you do a revision, that you have had as much feedback as possible so that you can um, do it optimally next time because my goal is for you to succeed as I've told you before in this class and in advertising or marketing or public relations or what a other area you might be going into easy for me to say but I have really enjoyed this semester. I hope that you have enjoyed some part of it and that you feel like you've learned some new aspects of advertising and marketing in one way or another. And um, I just uh, <laughs> have really put my whole heart into it. <laughs> And I'm going to uh, miss our interactions. <laughs> and I, uh, I thank you. I thank you for a good semester and for allowing me to uh, let you get to know me a little bit and for uh, you allowing me to get to know you all a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I'm just, I'm going to have to, to go because I'm just a little emotional. So <laughs> thank you and have a good rest of the semester and a good break and a, and a good future if I don't get to see you again on D2L or or else. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.